everyone, I'm Beth from Twinkle and today we're going to be talking about reading comprehension skills. When children complete or are very close to completing their phonics scheme, they'll be feeling a lot more confident with actually reading words. At this point, teachers change focus a little bit. We're now trying to help children to build reading comprehension skills. Here at Twinkle, we have got a huge range of activities designed specifically to help your child develop their reading comprehension skills. Let's have a look. Finding the right information to answer a reading comprehension question can be really challenging. This worksheet can help children learn how to focus in on keywords in a question. Read the question together and then highlight the keywords. This is any word that gives you information to answer the question correctly. Encourage your child to read each word carefully. If we just highlight the colours, we'd miss out some important information. Children can also demonstrate their understanding of a text through summarising. In the early stages, this can be more accessible for children if done through speaking or drawing rather than writing. With this Be an Illustrator worksheet, children can draw a picture of an event that happens in the story. After they've finished, discuss the picture. Which characters are in the picture? What are they doing? Why? What happens next? If your child feels confident, maybe they could write some sentences to summarise the events in the picture. Another important skill is exploring things such as character, plot and setting. Why not use this worksheet to consider the main character of a story? Draw a picture in the centre and then write some sentences with adjectives to describe them. If you're struggling, why not use these character adjectives word cards to help you? Inference can be really challenging for children when they first begin working on a reading comprehension. It requires children to spot things in a text which aren't immediately obvious and make educated guesses about what's happening. In Key Stage 1, and even in Early Key Stage 2, a lot of teachers will use pictures rather than text to help children develop their inference skills. Here, I've printed off a free stock image from the internet. Then I can use this reading comprehension dice to help me ask and answer questions about what is happening in the picture. It's important that children don't just guess anything that springs to mind. They must be able to explain their thinking. That's it for now. See you next time.